All right, so that crashed and burned and I dropped my phone and that video stopped. All right, so let's get back out here. We are going to stain the fence. So here's what happened. Let me tell you about this. So we put this fence up. Um, where are we now? It's June now. And we put this fence up a little while ago last year before winter. And we love it. We just put this front for now. We haven't done the rest. We've got a kind of ugly old farm fencing on the rest of the property so we just put this face up because we paid someone to do it and it was like I don't know close to six thousand dollars which I felt was like expensive oh I'm sorry some people are probably going oh no that's not expensive but I mean come on it's when it's your money it feels expensive you know six thousand dollars you know a six thousand dollars so um, anyways, so we haven't done the rest of the property yet because we don't want to shell out the money. <laughs> um, but we love this and we needed this so we could have the dogs because we got the dogs after we got the fence. And the dogs are like eight months old. And we got the dogs when they were like, um, Cole, the black great Pyrenees was, um, he was like eight weeks and Belle, the Adelonian Shepherd, mixed with Miramano's Sheepdog. She was, she was like nine, ten weeks. So she's only like two weeks older than Cole. Okay, so um, that kind of tells you how long we've had the fence. So take two months away. So we've had the fence for like six months. All right, so what is striking us for one reason? I mean, we always wanted to stain or paint it, but one thing that has caused us to want to do it even more is kind of the fact that one of the neighbors, um, the first time we talked to him ever since the whole time we've lived here, said our fence was ugly. Hmm, I guess it was one of those things where he could have kept his opinion to himself. So that kind of like, honestly, I guess my... Um, partner and I are sensitive about stuff like that because this was so important to us and we didn't think it was ugly and now it's kind of like I don't know it's like well it's not going to be ugly we're going to make it gorgeous and now we're going to get out here and stain it um because he said that a few months ago we needed to wait for the weather to get right too because we went through a rainy season here where we live um we get a lot of rain and it looks like it's going to rain today. It better not. But what we're going to do today, before I keep babbling on, is we're going to do this top here. So we're going to do this top board first before anything else. And just see how everything looks. Because as you see, it's already gotten like some... It's been rained on a lot and it just went through one winter. So it's looking crappy. And so we're going to make that look attractive and start from there. And hopefully we get all of that done today. I'm hoping. I mean, it's just one board that's running along this whole front and a little bit of the side here. I think we can get it done. She's following. Are you following, Belle? So Belle, let me tell you about Belle. Belle's personality is quite different than Cole's. Cole is the Black Pyrenees. Cole is pretty chill, although Belle riles him up quite well, so he's probably a lot more active and um, spunky than some Pyrenees might be, just based on the fact that he lives with Bella. And Bella, being an Adelonian Shepherd, they're really spunky dogs. Um... She really is all over the place. So what she likes to do is she has car rage. And I actually think it's a wheel rage because anytime it's like a car or it's a bicycle or a four-wheeler, anything that has wheels, she goes crazy. And I mean, you should see the way she acts. It's, it's hysterical in some ways. And in some ways I get like upset and embarrassed. I'm like, oh my God, Belle, stop it. 
You know, it's like, stop it. People go by on a bicycle and she just likes ass and that's all. You know, it's just the motorized wheels and I read about it and they say it has to do with a thing with dogs. I don't know, a predator thing, even though my livestock guardian dogs um, don't have a lot of predator prey drive. They actually take care of animals, but with the, any type of a vehicle... Um, they're just, she's just really weird about it. And she just jumps all over the place. She screams and yells, barks, and acts weird. And she's such a sweet dog. But it's just something that it causes. So we put this up, um, please don't spray or mow. Because they were spraying and putting, like, pesticides and things. And I'm starting to battle with some, like, allergies and some things I don't understand. And so I don't want this pesticide around me or the dogs now that have dogs. So we put those signs up and kind of told them to stop it. Another thing we've done is this right here. We put up this private property no trespassing because apparently the way the laws work is you really need to have these signs up. If you have a property where you don't want strangers or people going on the property um, for certain laws and defending yourself and stuff like that you have to post those signs you have to say to people you're not allowed to come on my property you're not allowed to trespass so look into the laws in the state you live in um, if you didn't know that you might want to learn about that every state might be different but some are the same and mine is like you have to put these signs up okay in order to really if there's a problem it's your obligation apparently to have these signs up Let's just put it that way. Right, so we are going to stain the fence today. I'm super excited. Cole. Cole. So that's a crab apple tree. I try to keep them away from my trees and plants. When we first brought them home, it was destruction all over the place. I had this beautiful, everything was beautifully maintained last year. Oh my gosh. When I first got these dogs, they went nuts. I don't even want to tell you. They made the place look horrible and it was embarrassing. And they're getting older now and they're calming down. But we're also learning to strategically give them more bones and things that are okay for them to chew on. But, I mean, they're still puppies and they're still doing some things. But hopefully it'll get better over time. That's another crab apple tree that I planted. And then this tree right here, not going off the subject of steaming the fence today... But this is like a four-in-one apple tree. I got that from Home Depot. I got those other two crab apple trees from Fast Growing Trees. They were expensive. Um, Home Depot definitely is better price. I got all those trees, I think. Was it last year? I think it was last year. We'll see how they do this year. So, this is my popular tree here. This popular tree, wow. I think he's the cause of a lot of sickness going on. Some serious sinus infections and allergies because of this tree. Um, but, like, I'm not getting rid of the tree, okay? It's beautiful. And to me, it's like an art piece. I love the tree, but the tree, it's in, been in bloom. And every time that happens, we feel real sick. So that's another thing. Um not used to the allergies on this area of the world not used to this tree but i love it and i'm keeping it it's definitely i think it's been the cause of some of our our sinus problems so yeah we're gonna stain this fence that top board that you see another private property sign cole's following I'm going to stain this fence and hopefully it looks a lot more attractive. And there's Belle over here. Belle likes to beat you to places. So Cole will walk, kind of walk with you. But sometimes Belle, she likes to run and get somewhere before you're there. Because that's that shepherd part of her. This tree here is a weepy. This is our weepy willow. So far this is his best year. The first year was crappy. Um, I got him from Fast Growing Trees. Um, 
And then you see here's my orchard that I planted. It's doing better. Um, it's looking really good actually all of a sudden. I mean, we're in May and it's all coming out. Um, last year it was so-so and the deers beat up the cherries. And I'm really surprised with the cherries. These three cherry trees here have really quite rebounded. And they've got some cherries on them. One, two, and three. But last year the deers came in and you don't even want to know. They just took these trees down before we had the dogs. And the dogs too, you know, the uh, deers don't come in now. So we've solved that problem, however. The first year then, because the cherry trees look so demolished, they just look like sticks. And this little cherry tree over there. Then, you know, Cole, I want to blame Cole for everything. Because he's a mad chewer. Even though Bella will do it too, but I feel like Cole is like enticed Bella to do all these things that she shouldn't. Bella has her own traits and Cole has his own traits. And Cole is really big on wanting to pick up everything and chew it. So he's the one that is, a, like, blamed for it. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, this little tree over here, it was so short. And he was then, after the deers had done their damage to it, he decided he needed to grab some of the lower sticks and bite on them too. And my partner thought, oh, well, you know, this cherry tree is just ruined It'll probably just die. And I'm like, no, you know, I don't think so. Let's just give it time. And here it is. It's back. So I feel real good that it's back. Let me in. Let me in, Belle. Her name's Bella. I wanted to call her Luna. My partner wanted to call her Bella. And then I gave in to Bella. And I figured, you know, I end up with another female dog. I'll call her Luna. But here's this cherry tree. This was the one that was done in the worst. And it's coming back. And look at this. Cherries. Cherries this year. First year, no. Cherries. Do not touch the tree. They're just into everything. Cherries are funny, right? The trees are shaped funny. We've got a lot of new growth. The cherry trees are doing good. I forgot what some of these trees are. But we had one tree failure here. So this tree here, we've lost it. It's over there. And i got to get another tree to replace it. Bad things have happened to it, and I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but people have bumped into it, knocked it down, tried to run it over with a tractor. Just bad stuff has happened here, and I'm butthurt about it. So we're going to get another tree and put it there. I'm going to try to take the tree that was there. It's still alive. I checked it. I scraped it. It's still green inside, and I'm going to try to splice it onto some of these other trees. But these two trees we bought from Home Depot. They were pretty good size already, so I was really, really happy but I've forgotten what they are. It's funny, like, I had it down at first and now I've forgotten. This is a combo fruit. That doesn't tell you much, does it? This is a peach. What does this one say? And this is a peach. You're going to growl at something? What do you see? I see nothing. And let's see what this one is. Plum. So we've got two peaches and a plum there. What does this other one say? I don't know. So at least two peaches and a plum on this tree. See if we get any fruit this year. I've forgotten what this is. I got this one, I'm pretty sure, from Fast Corn Trees. And uh, the dogs pulled the label off. So, because the dogs pulled the label off of some of the fruit trees now, 
I have actually forgotten what they are, but wow. Yep, now I'll just have to wait and see what comes. <laughs> That's annoying. These dogs have done a lot of stuff. So don't look, get me started on that. But so you see, here was my intention of my orchard. You know, it's a small little area here. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it was eight. And we spaced them out perfectly to how much room they needed. But then we've lost that one there. So we're, we got seven. And this guy over here is something super cool. Um, and I, oh, I forgot. I have to go back to my fast growing trees to see what he is. But he's some type of like super cool tropical. I forgot if he was like some type of fig or something. Oh my God, what's happening to him down there? Okay, that looks like a problem that Bill, stop. You see that right there? I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. And, uh, but the tree looks good otherwise, right? But that looks like that might be some type of problem there. I don't know what he's doing. I'll have to look that up and see what it is. But otherwise, this tree's done really, really well. And I've really loved him. I'm pretty sure it was like some type of like... Japanese fig. I don't know. I'll have to look it back up because I've forgotten. But he's done great. His growth has been amazing. You know, he's just supposed to be a really cool looking tree with some interesting weird oh, fruits on it. I almost dropped my phone again. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> oh. All right. So we are going to stain. We're going to start doing that. I'm super excited. The dogs are just excited that I'm outside. They want to follow. It's time for doggy bass too, which they hate. All right, so we're going to do the fence today and I'll make another video and show you how it looks. Your fingers crossed for me that it looks awesome and that the neighbor that told us that our fence was ugly, well, you know, it won't be ugly anymore. And, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you on the next video. Bye.